As part of Climate Week 2012's Campaign for a Sustainable Future, Nissan set out to turn people on to the low carbon benefits of electric vehicles. We shared a lift in the 100% electric Nissan LEAF with some familiar faces and supporters of Climate Week. So what did Marcus Brigstock have to say? I've been eco for a long time. For example, when I, I go to France a lot, um, I drive my hybrid car and I take my solar powered uh, motorhome. Mm, I can um, totally see why Climate Week have got you as one of their people. Yeah, for, for me, for me, it's all year round. But for most people, it's a week. And it's what it is is if you can engage during Climate Week with some aspect of living more sustainably, and you find that during that week, in fact, your quality of life is not diminished, then why wouldn't you just keep going with it? So, what are you thinking of the car? As we're I, going. I, I gotta say it's it's really nice I mean it's quiet I suppose you, you notice that but only when you first pull away but it feels the same as anything else so I guess that's good right you're actually an eco mode if you toggle the gear lever uh -oh. I think to you again I'm in drive mode okay brace yourselves everybody your, head, mean, went, your head went back then I have to say that's you know like that that pulls away that speeds up like a like a real car I, but I don't recall a time where I've needed to get from 0 to 60 in under 10 seconds I'm not a getaway driver not really I haven't done a heist or robbery as such in, in months not before, not since before Christmas I think it'll give you about a hundred and sort of between 100 and 130 miles you don't pay road tax on it it's congestion charge free obviously there's no fuel duty it costs about one pound 20 to recharge it one pound 91 one pound 91 one pound 91 well there's 70p that i didn't know i was going to have to spend i'm going to rethink the whole thing <laughs> nissan's thing this year is a campaign called the big turn on do you think how difficult is it actually to turn people on to the idea of driving electric very difficult. Look, I, I'm biased and I totally own up to that. But if most of your driving, which would be the vast majority of people, takes place over short distances, then it'll save you money. It'll save you a huge amount of money. I mean, that's the part of the argument that I think is, is often forgotten. Never mind the, you know, the eco-credentials of the thing. Does this work financially? I, I, think, I think it does. <laughs>